See you there. All right, good, good, good. Hey, wait a minute. I have something I want to tell you. Um, Brody called while the game was on. Hey, I noticed that. Can't you keep that thing on for a half hour? Uh, sorry, I thought I did, but uh, the Better Business Bureau named me Woman of the Year. Really? Yeah. Well, that's good. That's great. You, you, you deserve that. You worked really hard. Thanks. You gave away your lunch again today? What'd I do wrong? It's too much mayo. The bread's soggy. Yuck. I traded for Adam's cold pizza. Yuck! <laughs> oh, really? The both of you? Cold pizza's the best. Stop it. It is. Warm pizza's way better, Johnny. No, cold pizza's better. Are we having company tonight? Yeah. There they are. Howdy, neighbors! Hey, <laughs> Hey, Alice. Hey. Oh, Steve, how are you? How you doing, Dave? Steve. How you doing? So, is your mother getting any better? Well, Rona says she's holding her own. If we were closer, I'd be able to read her better, but you know, my sister Rona. Oh, mother and martyr of the year. <laughs> Well, it doesn't matter, because I get to go to Seattle tomorrow to open up the new store, so I'll get to see her for myself. Well, that's good. Yeah. <sighs> Cancer's hell. What we went through with my mother... Listen, if you ever need anyone to talk to... Thanks, Alice. You're the best. Oh. Let's go, guys. Hey, Alice. Bye, Claire. Yeah. Oh, thanks. You. you call me. Okay. Bye, Dennis. Bye. Bye. You gotta love Alice. She really speaks her mind. What's wrong? I thought we said we weren't gonna have people over on school nights anymore. Well, they're redoing their kitchen. Bye! They didn't have a place to eat. All the restaurants are closed. You know, we make these agreements, and then you just do whatever you want. Stars. Good night, lightning bugs and jars. Mm. I'm sorry I have to go back to Seattle tomorrow. I'll be back on Thursday. And maybe we could go to the circus on Saturday. Yay, the circus! <laughs> I'll ask Dad to try to get tickets. Can I go with you to Seattle? I haven't seen Nana for almost a whole year. I know, honey, but I don't think so. I mean, you have school and practice Forget and... it. Kids never get what they want. Excuse me? 
You get everything that you want. I didn't get the red bike I really wanted for Christmas. I got the blue one. Oh, write a letter to Santa. <laughs> it's 9.30. Young man, you're going to bed. Good night. Come on. Good night, Mom. Top down. Love you. Good night, Dad. Good night, sweetie. Yeah. Okay. Good night, baby. That was a good game today, buddy. It was. Thanks, Dad. It really was. <clears throat> we need to talk. Okay. I just have to call Brody and ask him what time he's going to come pick me up tomorrow morning. Hey, Brody. Okay, I want to know everything that he said. Good night, Johnny. Good night, Dad. No. He said that? You got to be kidding me. Really? How did he know he did that kind of business last year? Wow. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. What else? No. Really? Oh, cool. And tomorrow, is everything okay? So you sure I can't change your mind? Oh, uh, I'm really flattered. Oh, come on, you gotta eat, right? <laughs> Sorry, another early morning pickup. upset that I'm leaving again. So am I. I don't want to go. But I've got obligations and it's a chance for me to see my mom. Come on. We've been through this in therapy. I take a business trip. You get upset. We fight. It's a pattern. We're supposed to be working on breaking that pattern. How can we work on it when you keep missing the sessions? And I've told you how sorry I am. Yeah, that's true, you have. Look, we're not going to be able to solve anything tonight. And it's late. Uh, and I really need to get some sleep, so... Uh, can we talk about it when I get back? Sure, fine. Good night. Just a shot of your genius, you know. Hey, Rudy. Dennis Raphael on Willow. <laughs> yeah, got another leak under the sink. Hey, big sis, our plane arrives at 12.15, so Brody and I will just meet you at the store, okay? Bye. Love you. Kiss mom. I don't know. It could be either the uh, water purifier, the, the disposal, or the sink. You take your pick. Apple, orange, banana? Apple. No brown spots. I want an orange, Mommy. Cut up, please. Peel it yourself. No, three o'clock's no good. I gotta pick up my kids at school. I can wait till tomorrow if you want. That's great. I'll see you then. Bye. Okay, so you have your lunch? I got you it. You have your homework? Got it, yeah. Mom. Kiki, don't forget these cupcakes, okay? Mm. We made them for the bake sale. Oh, my God, I gotta go. Brody will be here. Griddle's too hot. No, it's not. Good morning. Hi, Brody. Hey. Kiki, Kiki. You get bigger and bigger. What are you now? You're like 27, you're 50. What is that? No, silly. I'm still nine. Nine years old. Can you come to one of my games, Brody? Sure. You just let me know, and I will be there. Hi, Dennis. Yo. You see the Celts last night? Yeah. Finally in the zone for a change. Your griddle's too hot. My griddle is not too hot. <clears throat> Here. Make yourself useful, man. Here you go, kids. Here. Our pancakes are going like hotcakes. Who wants them? Here. Good morning. Oh, if it isn't the woman of the year. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. oh let me yeah. get you bags, ma'am. Hey, kid. Love you. Mm -hmm. Love you. Mm -hmm. I'll call you tonight, okay? Okay. Can Brody go with us to the circus? Uh, sure, if, if he wants to. Brody wants to. Maybe I'll bring Stephanie if the lovely ex Mrs. Brody will let me have her on an off yeah, weekend. That'd be great. What's this about a circus? I promised the kids that uh, when I got back, we'd go. Can we? I meant to ask you about getting tickets last night, but we got way off track. 
So, could you? We gotta go. Come on. Bye, honey. Say hi to your mom for me. I will. Love you. Love Bye. you. Bye, honey. Love you. Bye, guys. Bye, honey. I love the location. I really think it's great. Ah. Tom, I don't know, but do you think we should lose this plant stand? No, it's good. I love those flowers. Great lighting, Bella. Thank you, you remembered. You guys did such an amazing job. Thank you, thank you. I love it. Claire, do you remember me? Bernice Matheson. I was your mother's bridge <laughs> partner, of course. Well, you know my sister, Rona. Yes, of course. Hello, dear. Hello, Mrs. Bounce. It's so nice for your mother that one of you stayed home with her. Good to see you. What, did she come here just to make me feel bad? Oh, this is not... I mean, she could have at least mentioned the store. Well, careers don't impress women of that generation. <laughs> Loyalty does. What's that supposed to mean, Rona? Well, you know, mothers stayed home to take care of their children, and their own children stayed home to take care of their mothers. Hello, hello, everyone. Folks, uh, I'd like to introduce you now to the president, the founder, and the creative head of Claire Raphael Designs. She's my partner, she's my friend, she also signs the checks. <laughs> Claire Raphael. How are you, Claire? I'm very happy to be here. I must admit, a little nervous. Openings are like that. But it does give me great pleasure to welcome you to our new store, which just happens to be here in Seattle. My mom and sister Rona's adopted hometown. And also to introduce to you what we feel is a line of innovative furniture that will add grace, comfort, and style to your home for years to come. I don't know how you do it. I look like I'm 150 years old. No, you don't. You look great. You're just tired from taking care of a husband, three kids, and mom all by yourself. I wish I was here to help you more. I wanted to talk to you about that, actually. Barney and I have volunteered to chaperone the kids' church camping trip, and I need your help. What do you need? I need you to stay with mom for two weeks. End of next month? Two weeks? Brody could take care of the business. Dennis could take care of the kids. I can't be away from my family for two more weeks, Rona. I, um, I could hire Mom a private duty nurse, and it'll give you some time off. She doesn't want a nurse. She wants us. No, I know. Jeez. Claire, I'm sorry. I've never asked anything of you before. It's not that I don't want to, Ro. I do. I just can't be away for two more weeks. Dennis is all over me as it is. The timing is impossible. Look, I'll, um, I'll stay with her all day tomorrow. I'll, I'll even sleep over if she wants to. It. I just really hoped you could help me on this one. Mom, you're still so beautiful. Oh, thank you, sweetheart. My friend Elaine says that your new store is the Best thing in Seattle. I can't wait for you to see it. See mm. what your encouragement and your loan help build. Oh, I'm gonna leave you two alone. God knows mom sees enough of me. <laughs> Bye, dear. Oh, all right. I'll take a cab back to the hotel. I'll call you tonight. Okay. Bye. Ooh. <laughs> so good to see you, honey. How you doing, mom? Uh, it's hard. I'm not able to do much but lie here and think. Like you, I was always so busy. It's frustrating. Mm. All the things I wanted to do in life didn't. You did tons, starting way back when Daddy died. You were the one who kept us afloat. Oh, I chased my tail is what I did. <laughs> Never could seem to get ahead. Oh, but you. <laughs> Tell me everything. And Kiki is just amazing. She got a full scholarship into an art camp. Mm. 
sunshine. So, Dennis hasn't been very happy lately. I just feel that he hasn't really tried hard to get a new job. I was always so fond of Dennis. You're lucky he's such a good father. You seem sad, dear. No, I'm not sad at all. I love my work and the kids are just terrific. And it's a godsend that Dennis could, you know, be able to stay home all the time. It's just that I... Well, I just wish we could have supported the family together. In my day, if a man didn't support his family, <laughs> He felt a complete failure. Ignore her. Ah, there you are. Time for your radiation. Oh, Claire, you run on, dear. I know you're tired after your trip. I usually just go to sleep after supper. You sure, Mom? Mm. Mm. I'll call you in the morning. Fly safe, sweetheart. Okay. Earth to Claire. Where'd you go? You remember when you and Dennis started at Payne Weber and I was pregnant with Johnny? Oh, yeah. I was still married to the lovely ex Mrs. Brody. Stop. We didn't have a pot to pee in. Didn't it seem that life was a lot easier then? Yeah, because we didn't know nothing. Oh, we knew we were in love, mm -hmm. knew our parents were healthy. We knew we were building a future. Don't worry about your mom. If she's anything like her daughter, she'll be just fine. I need to get home. Wait, Back wait, to wait. basics. Wait. Touch my kids, smell the laundry. You know, the farther I get away, the more I realize home is my anchor. Come on. All right, all right. Let's go. Hey, I'm home. Kiki, Johnny! Hello? Hi there. Where's the kids? They're at my mom's. How come? I didn't want them here tonight. Okay. Is this some kind of romantic surprise? It's a really great idea. I'm gonna go take a shower. I'll answer the door. I'll meet you upstairs. Hello. Claire Raphael. Yes. What's this? Probate Family Court, Suffolk Division, Boston, Massachusetts. You are ordered as file pending the hearing or until further notice of the court. It is ordered that Dennis Raphael is to have temporary custody of John and Clara Kate Raphael, the wife Claire Raphael, is to vacate the marital premises. What the hell is this? Some kind of joke to uh, drive home the fact that you don't like my working? It's no joke. I'm suing you for divorce. The judge has given me <clears throat> temporary custody of the children and ordered you to move out tonight. Right. Come on, Dennis. What is this? For God's sakes, Claire. It's right there. I'm suing you for divorce. Why won't that register? Because it isn't the way two rational people who have been married for 15 years behave. Dennis, people talk to each other. I've tried talking. You can't be serious. I am. I'm very serious. Remember in couples therapy, we promised each other, we agreed that we wouldn't make any radical moves. This is not radical. I've thought this through. Since you've been unwilling to hear me, I had to resort to this. Look, you want a trial separation? That's one thing. Okay. But what's this about custody of the children? And in order to vacate, 
Dennis, this is my home. I live here. A divorce? You never said that you wanted to talk about a divorce. You're not a responsible mother. Are you crazy? What could you have possibly said to a judge to convince him that I'm not a responsible mother? Between your mother and your work, you are in a state of personal crisis. The children are suffering. Suffering? <laughs> suffering? How? How is that? You're never here, for one thing. And when you are here, you're so preoccupied with your work that you forget the kids. Forget the kids? Forget the kids? What? Uh, Kiki's ballet lesson? I lost track of time. What about the little accident where the children were nearly killed? I was hit by a man having a heart attack, for God's sake! It wasn't my fault! Yes, this is Dennis Raphael and Willow. We spoke earlier. Yep. Yes, right away. Thank you. Then there's you and Brody working all hours of the night. This is insane. The only reason why I started the business was because you stopped working. Yes, with Brody. We wouldn't have eaten if he didn't help. Oh my God. What have you become? Why are you doing I didn't do it. You did it. The court says you're going to I don't to care you. what the court says. I only care about my kids. I need them and they need me. Come on in. She won't leave. She's become violent, breaking things. See that court order, ma'am? Yes. You're gonna have to leave the house right now. You don't have a choice. If you refuse, I'm gonna have to arrest you. Arrest me? Mm -hmm. I haven't done anything wrong. Come on. I Go now, man. I thought you were safely anchored at home. What's up? I got home, there was a man with a court order saying Dennis won a divorce and I had to leave the house. Wait, 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 wait. what are you talking about? What, you're not making any sense. Why does he want a divorce? Why would he want to do that? I'm not interrupting anything, am I? No. I was driving around, I didn't know where to go. No, 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 it's all right. Listen, why don't I just go get the keys to the car and I'll take you back over there. We'll clear this all up. No. I'm not allowed to go back. <laughs> he... I didn't know who he was. He was so cold and shut down. Oh, he's keeping the kids from me. Oh, he all right, said all right, that. Right, right, just, just, just come in. Come on. Did you know that he was thinking about this? I knew he was unhappy. But I uh, never thought, can he really do this to me? 
Can he throw me out of my house? Look, I gotta call the kids. No, wait, wait, wait. I, 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 I'd rather that you talk to my lawyer first. I don't really want to talk to your lawyer first. Well, you don't have to use him, of course, but he's very fair. And I'm sure he'll be able to tell you what the deal is with the kids. And I would I'd feel better, that's all. I don't want to jeopardize anything. Yeah. Carter, hi, this is Nick Brody. I, listen, I'm so sorry to call you at home, but I'm here with my partner, Claire Raphael, and she's just been served with an order to Thank vacate, you. and we just felt she needed to talk to somebody. Uh, sure, Nick, uh, but I'm cooking supper. Oh, I'm sorry, but we won't take that much of your time. It's really been a great shock to her. She, uh -huh. she came home. From so her... she had no idea? Yeah, it came right out of the blue. Her, her husband's name is Dennis. And, uh, you know what, I think it would be better if you just talk to her yourself. All right. Okay, just a minute. Okay, this is Carter Petrie. Um, hello, Carter. Hi, Claire. I'm sorry to hear about all this. It's always a shock, even when you know it's coming. Yeah, it is. There really isn't much we can do tonight. But if you'll drop by my office tomorrow morning, we'll talk a little and we'll see where to start. Well... Actually, um, maybe you could give me some advice tonight. Dennis took our children to his mother's. Can I, uh, just go there and tell them that I'm home? Actually, no. No, you can't see them. You can certainly call them, but it might be easier if you told them you were still out of town. That way you wouldn't have to explain anything tonight. What's the lawyer's name on the court order? Plaintiff's lawyer, Phoebe Harris. Ha uh ha. -huh. You try and get some rest, and I will see you tomorrow, all right? Yeah. Bye. Bye. What did he say? He said that I can't see the kids, I can't go to the house, but I could call them. Good. <sighs> Emma? Could I talk to the kids? <sighs> Kiki, it's your mom. See, Grandma I told you she'd call. Hi, Mom. Can you come get us? Grandma says we have to go to bed at 8 o'clock. Well, uh, why don't you get into bed when she says and then ask her to tell you a story, okay, baby? Is Johnny there? Where are you? Hi, honey. I'm, I'm in uh, Seattle. How was practice today? It was okay. When are you coming home? Johnny, look. Nana really needs me uh, for a little bit he here, so, um... So I'm gonna stay. But I'll, I'll call you tomorrow. Okay? Okay. Right. Sweet dreams. Good night, Mom. I love you. I love you, too. So this is how it's going to be. I'm going to have to lie to my kids. Claire, Carter Petrie. Please, come in. I know that Dennis and I can work this out. He doesn't really want a divorce. It's just an ill-conceived emotional move. Um, our counselor says that... Uh... His papers don't look ill-conceived. Oh. He wants sole custody of the children, child support until they're 18, and maintenance. That's what we used to call alimony. And he wants half your business. He claims that with your business booming and your mother ill, you're too busy for your family. You've been gone 34 days of the last 90. You've canceled appointments at school. You're seeing a therapist. You've endangered the children. Oh, he's talking about that car crash that wasn't my fault. And, and the therapist is seeing the both of us. I, I don't believe this. This isn't Dennis. <clears throat> Has divorce ever been discussed? 
he's talked of separation, but only when he's discouraged about himself. It... He's hired a very tough lawyer. That may explain it. Although I'm seeing more and more of this attitude from men who... whose spouses are the breadwinners. I don't know what you mean. Men are asking for custody? It could be some of the old, what's good for the goose is good for the gander. I see. You mean men are trying to get even for the way they've been... Yes. For the way they, traditionally, were... Taken to the cleaners. The practice of the law, as gender neutral as it tries to be, still reflects the biases in our society. <laughs> this judge, in your case, for example, the one Dennis's lawyer has maneuvered us into having to deal with, is a conservative Boston Catholic who is not at all sympathetic to working women. Oh, great. He thinks moms belong in the home and should not be working. I am at home as much as I can and still support the family. My husband doesn't bring in any income at all. Look, Dennis took on most of the domestic side once he lost his job. And I thought he was happy doing it. How does a judge make a decision like this after only hearing one side? They do it all the time. And my job is to make sure that he hears the other side. When do I get to see my children? We go before the judge next week. You'll be in violation if you try to see them before that. Phone contact, that's all. Hey, morning. You up to talking? Claire signed you over here? Oh, come on. I love both you guys. You know that. What's going on? My lawyer told me not to talk to you. Well, screw your lawyer. Come on, Dennis. We know each other better than we know ourselves. But I gotta tell you, you've lost me on this one, man. I told Claire it wasn't another woman. Is it? My lawyer told me not to talk to you because you are Claire's partner and you may end up telling her everything that I say. That would be good, right? Come on, you loved each other. I know that. I was there. I introduced you. I was your best man. Yeah, yeah, you were there. You were there. You saw it. Well, Claire doesn't think I work for anything around here. She thinks all I do is sit around and feel sorry for myself while she's out busting her ass for the family. Yeah, she has busted her ass. And you've done your fair share of sitting around and feeling sorry for yourself. I was fired. And why you haven't lined anything else up is a mystery to me. You're a bright guy. You're smart. You used to be driven. You don't think I tried to set something else up? No. You think I just sit around here and wait for the How phone to I ring? Know. How would I know? You don't talk to me anymore. How could I? I don't see you anymore since you partnered with my wife. Wow. Well, well, I know that Claire asked you to partner with her first. But something about your ego comes to mind. I run this house. I run this house! She doesn't think it's important that somebody be here when the kids get home. What are you talking about? Claire was home for years. And I've got a 10-year-old. They don't need a nanny as much as they need a chauffeur. And th this is ridiculous. She takes care of them. She, she feeds them. She washes them. She reads them. She loves them as much as you do. When she's here, Claire does what she can, Dennis. We had no idea the business was going to take off the way it did. Dennis, don't you want to try to fix things up before you tear apart everything you've worked for here? Huh? Hello? Yep. Yep. Sitting right here. Okay, I'll, I'll bring it right over. Thank you. Gotta go. Johnny left his math book. Wait, 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 wait. <sighs> Let's go out for a beer tonight. All right? Let Claire take care of the kids. It'll be like old times. We'll hash this out. I can't do that, Brody. It's none of your business. It's not your marriage. You stay out of it. Gotcha. Hey, there's Claire. All right. All right, Claire. Congratulations. Claire, congratulations on your award. We're so proud. Woman of the Year. Thank you. This is going to be so good for business. Oh, yeah. Claire, there's a shipment of Italian cotton at customs. They say you have to sign for it personally. Betty, I have a personal thing I need to deal with. <laughs> Good.
Dennis? Hi, it's me. Hi. Look, you made your point. I got it, okay? Do you, uh... I'm sorry I was so angry last night. You think, um... Do you think we could meet somewhere and, um... Uh... And you could tell me what this is all about? You know what this is about, Claire? And could you please tell Brody to stay the hell out of it? Okay. So we'll, uh, we'll do it on the phone if you like. Why don't you start at the top of your list? What do you... You want to have, like, a meeting so we can go over our goals and objectives? N no, Dennis. I just want to find out what's bothering you. So, uh, we can work on finding a solution, something that... Something that'll work for all of us. I'm not an employee of yours, Claire. Is that how you feel, like an employee? When did that start? I don't, I don't want to talk about it. Well, I'm sorry. You have to talk about it. You just can't destroy our lives and not give me a reason. I mean, what has changed so much between us that, that we can't work it out? I don't have to answer to you, Claire. I don't have to prove myself to you, Claire. I don't have to talk to you anymore. Dennis, please, don't go there. Flag for Port Raphael. Flag for Fort Raphael. This is so neat, Daddy. We did such a good job. Can I sleep at it tonight? No, because I am. I said it first. Who cares what you said? Well, <clears throat> looks like there's enough room for the both of you in there, so why don't you both go get your sleeping bag? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> this is so fun. I can't wait to show Mom this. She'll love it. As soon as she gets home, we'll show her. Maybe she can sleep with us, too. I knew he was mad that I invited you over on a school night. I also knew that he was unhappy with himself. Oh, come on, Claire. In all the years I've known you, I have never seen you play the naive card. <laughs> what do you mean? I mean that there is something going on here that you don't want to look at. Something you've done, you said, you've not said. Well, he says that we make these decisions and then I just go off and do whatever I want. Do you? Sometimes, sure. He's jealous of your business. We couldn't have lived without the business, Alice. I know that, but it's done so well. I mean, maybe it's a little more than threatening. I can't do anything about that. <laughs> oh, I'm working as hard as I can just to keep this thing going. What am I supposed to do, make it not threatening, too? So are we just a little angry here? Yes, I'm angry. The bastard's tearing up my life. Hey, it's not just your life, Claire. It's his life, too. Maybe he didn't feel like he was in it. He wasn't in it, Alice. He quit on me. He quit work. He quit talk. He quit sex. So he's been mad at you, too. You've got to look at your part in this. For what, Alice? What did I do? Tell me what I did. You did his job better than he did. You wrecked man and woman's time-honored roles. You, you, you took over the hunter and gatherer's job. Look, if Dennis evaporated tomorrow, you'd go on. Hell, I'd be mad at you, too. Oh, come here. Oh. And it's going to be Robert. Oh, really? All right, Claire, our main objective here is to make a good impression on the judge and to have a good evaluator appointed. It's the evaluator in most cases who decides who gets the kids. Okay. I'll do all the talking. You stay calm. Right. Your Honor, as you've read, my client was stunned by the order issued against her last Thursday. She has led an exemplary life. She's strong, 
mentally and physically. She's well known in her community. She's respected by her children's teachers, by their pastor, their doctor, and their friends. Her husband has never before expressed an interest in full-time parenting, nor did he ever suggest to her that she was an unfit mother. She had no idea that he was serious about wanting a divorce. Behind her back, he came to this court and presented evidence purporting to show her in a state of personal crisis. The evidence to that effect is filled with coincidence, erroneous supposition, even a few outright lies. To put it bluntly, he set her up. Objection, Your Honor. There's no proof of any setup. And no proof against it. Mr. Raphael deliberately manipulated the situation in order to make his wife look bad. We therefore request that the order to vacate be nullified and the children be returned to her care. We are not here to try this case, counsel. What the father's affidavit says, the children are doing quite well without her. But they don't even know they're without me. Mrs. Raphael, this is a hearing. Nothing you say has any bearing since you have not been put under oath. In this proceeding, your counsel speaks for you. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Your Honor, we request that she be put under oath. Further, we would like to bring in witnesses to attest to her diligence as a mother. No time. Since the parties disagree on who shall have custody, I'll name an evaluator who will prepare a recommendation. Any requests? Janice Goldman. John Eden, Your Honor. John Eden it is. He will study the behavior and emotions of the family relationships, then make his recommendation. How long will that be? Mr. Petrie, remind your client she may not speak at this hearing. Your Honor, regarding temporary custody, the children will stay with their father. Can the mother live in the house until the evaluator files his report? Is that acceptable? No, Your Honor. Mrs. Raphael is clearly angry. She became violent at her home the night she was served. The police were called. There's no telling what she might do to her husband or to the children. I would never. The order stands pending the evaluator's report. Father stays at home with the children. Mother travels anyway. She'll find lodging when she's in town. Visitation rights, then. Wednesdays and Saturdays. On the matter of temporary support, father will have same access to funds as he's had all along. Next case. No time. This is my life, my children. He says he has no time. Carter, this is so unfair. Fairness has little to do with divorce proceedings, Claire. Carter, it's always good to see you. My client says Mrs. Raphael can see the children on Wednesdays after they get home from school. If she wants to pick up a few of her things, she can do so one hour prior to that visitation. Rona? Claire? Yeah, Mom's not doing so well. Well, they're giving her morphine for the pain, but she's going in and out of consciousness. Her, her vitals are unstable. I think you should get here as soon as possible. Carter, I have to go. I, my sister says there's very little time left. Your mom? I have to go. I'm sorry. If I had known she was this sick, I, I wouldn't have left last week. That's not what she wants. She wants us to live our lives. Feels like I I miss the signs of so many things. I the guilt is overwhelming. You didn't miss the signs. Knowing you, you probably saw them all, but hoped they meant something else. I knew Dennis was unhappy, and I I just kept pushing it down so far. I, I stopped feeling. Do you still love him? Hello, Doctor. How are we doing? About the same. How bad is it? Well, with a will as strong as hers, she could go on for weeks, even months. It won't be for a while.
Chris. Prayer. Listen. Listen to what, Mom? It takes two. One to talk. And one to listen. You'll find a way. We all do. myself I wouldn't cry or scream. Listen, I swear to God, you're gonna be okay. Your kids are gonna be okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, what was that for? I was just, I was remembering when the lovely ex-Mrs. Brody gave me the boot and I went back to get my things. Where'd you go after? I went to a place full of laughter and love, a place that was very comfortable, very welcoming. Where'd you go? I went to your house, remember? Yours and Dennis's? I remember. I need you gone by six. I think it's time we tell the kids. Yeah, I suppose it is. This for me? It's got your name on it. I do just fine when you're gone, and then you walk back into the house and make me feel worthless all over again. How? I haven't said a thing. You don't have to. I want you to know one thing. I will never give you the children. I'll tell them after you leave. No, you won't. I'll tell them while I'm here. Hey! Mom? Hey! Why are you? I'm here! Mom! Yes. Oh. How are you? How are you? I'm, oh, I missed Missy. you guys so much. Mm. Oh, how's Nana? Mm. She's good. She's fighting this really hard. And Aunt Rona says, hello. Hello. How you been? Make some cookies? Sure. You can make them, but you can't eat them till after dinner. Dad. That's, that's oh, come it, on, let's go. Let's make them. Let's make them. Let's make them. Let's get them. Oh. <laughs> Mom, I scored eight points yesterday. Dad said it was the best game that I ever played. Good for you. I got to take the classroom fish home for the weekend. <laughs> really? And it's still alive? <laughs> Mom. <laughs> come on, cookie maker. Oh, perfect. I missed you. 
Can you get a job where you don't have to go away? You want to go for a bike ride after this? Yeah. What are we having for supper? I don't know. Um, I'm not allowed to stay for supper. Your dad and I are uh, in a difficult place. We're going to uh, get a divorce. And the judge says that dad is the one who's going to stay with you for a while. It's nobody's fault. You're not going to lose either one of us. And we're both here for you. We both love you. We'll just call them in different houses from now on. But we're both still going to be your parents. We're both still going to do things together. No. Please open up. I want to talk to you. Please. Mommy's got to go, Johnny. Listen, it, it isn't always going to be like this. The court just needs time to, to figure out how it's going to arrange things. How can a court decide how to arrange things? It doesn't even know us. It's the law. And when two people get a divorce, they have to obey the laws. I hate the laws. I'll call you tonight. And tomorrow, before you go to school. And I'll see you Saturday. And I'll come to your game Friday, okay? We're gonna work it out. I promise, we're gonna work it out. This is all Dad's fault. Doesn't the lighthouse keeper have to live here? Oh, not after they're decommissioned. Did you uh, see my ad? No. No, I just came out here to think. I've been sort of uh, <laughs> decommissioned myself. I, I need a place to live. Well, take a look around if you like. My client's not due for another 15 minutes. Sure, thanks. It's a great place.
Hello? Mommy, Daddy and Johnny are fighting bad. What? I don't want sit supper. Down, Leave me alone. Johnny? Leave me alone. I'm going to sit there and do as I say, young man. Stop it. It shouldn't be you who gets the house. Mom should. She shouldn't have to live in a hotel. Knock it off! Kiki, supper! Johnny, you got five seconds. You hear me? You got five seconds to get back in here. Five seconds. Uh, honey, Kiki. Honey, talk to me. What's going Kiki, on? Come on. Supper. I don't want to eat supper. I want you to come home. I, I can't come home. But I could talk to you and Johnny on the phone as long as you want. Honey, maybe you should put Daddy on the phone. Uh, Kiki, I want you to put the phone down and come in here and eat supper. Who are you talking to? Mom. Claire, she'll call you after supper. Dennis, what is going on? It... Oh, God. Get this. I had to drive Adam to school this morning. He missed the bus again. But when we got there, he jumped out of the car, and I rolled down the window, and I yelled, I love you, Adam. He looked back at me and went, good. <laughs> He's gone. <laughs> You know, I still don't get how Dennis can do this legally. I'm wondering if he really wants the kids or he's just using them for protection. From what? For avoiding getting on with his own life. He wants to win. Taking the kids and the money would be winning. He wants to hurt me. He doesn't know what he wants, Claire. He's lost. And this didn't just happen overnight. You two are on totally different wavelengths. Yeah, but we wanted it to work. Honey, whatever you wanted, you left way behind in the dust. Maybe it, it didn't happen consciously, but you both chosen to move beyond old dreams. Thanks for meeting me here. I can't stay inside anymore. I just lose it. Fine. I'm happy to be out myself. So I've been reading about this evaluation, and the only thing I want to make sure of is that the kids won't have to come to court. They don't, usually. But the judge may want to speak to them in his chambers. But what if he asks them? To choose between Dennis and me, that would be terrible for them, Carter. Isn't there some way not to involve them? There are three ways, actually. You can give the kids to Dennis, he can give them to you, or you can agree on joint custody. Can the judge award joint custody? Yes. But if it's a nasty debate and the case goes to trial, the kids usually go to the non-working parent, to the one who stays at home and takes care of them. And the money usually follows the kids. I feel like I'm being punished. Well, you are in a way. Family law is still stuck in a criminal view of divorce. Let's find out who killed the marriage and punish them. But we didn't kill the marriage, neither Dennis nor I. The marriage just died. Claire, it doesn't matter what the truth is. If you don't fight Dennis, if you don't make him seem like the bad guy somehow, he could get the children and child support and maintenance. Is that what you want? I don't want any of this. Unfortunately, marriage is not like other contracts in my experience. As soon as one person wants out, it's over. Okay. Tell me what to do, Carter. You fight not to get ruined financially, and you fight to get as much time with your kids as you can. You know the drill? Leave your name and message after you hear the tone. Don't hang up. Hey, Alice. It's Claire. Listen, pretty funny. Our accountant called today to tell me he had to stay neutral because the last time he got involved in a divorce case, he got sued. So I fired him. <laughs> I knew you would enjoy that. Uh, okay, gotta go. Bye. Hello? Clarence, me. 
The police are here. I think you better get over here right away. The police? Jenkins. I'm the county juvenile officer. Can we talk in the kitchen? Yeah, sure. Okay, go wait with Dad. Okay. What on earth happened? Your son called the county abuse hotline. He's asked to be removed from the home. He claims that your husband's abusing him. <laughs> My husband never hit Johnny, ever, in his entire life. Can I get a drink of water? Yes, of course, help yourself. Okay, what's this about? I mean, what did you do? I didn't do anything. I assumed you put him up to it. Why would I do that? To prove that I'm a bad father. I had nothing to do with this. Did you say something? Did you punish me? I didn't do something? anything, Claire. Our son just calls the police. I find that hard to believe. I think it was a child abuse program at school that gave me the idea. Oh, a child abuse program, yeah. Claire, we are both in trouble here. They could take him away from us. That's exactly what you were trying to do to me. This has nothing to do with that. The court will say we're unfit parents. That's exactly what you told the judge about me, Dennis. Do you want her to take Johnny away? No. I don't want any of this. I, I wanted a husband. I wanted a marriage. I wanted a family. And our son apparently feels the same way. I'm not sure how to proceed here. We've never had a child ask for protection when there's no charge of physical abuse. Does Johnny want to come and live with me? You're not taking him, Claire. Living with me has got to be better than a foster home, Dennis. I mean, is that where you would take my son? If we take him into custody, I don't know where the judge will put him exactly. It could be a detention center. Can I go talk to Mom? Is that why you did this? To get your mom to come over? I already told you why I did it. My dad is making me crazy. He's making me want to break things. You know, hurt people. Like he hurt you? Tell me how he hurt you. Did he hit you? No. So he didn't abuse you physically. Is that right? I can't stay here. I can't. You have Look, to... Look, Johnny, I may be wrong here, but I get the feeling that what you're trying to do is get your folks back together. What is it you want here, Johnny? Do you want to go downtown? Because if what you want to do is to get the custody order changed, the juvenile judge, he can't do that. The only choice he can make is to take you away from both your parents. Do you know what you want? I don't want them to fight over me. I don't want to be the prize, like whoever wins gets to take care of me. I don't like what Dad did to Mom, to Kiki and me throwing her out like that. But that wasn't your dad, that was the judge. Yeah, but it was Dad who asked him to, wasn't it? Go on. I don't like it that we're with you more than Mom. It should be the same. And you should pick straws or something for the house. You shouldn't just go to Dad because he thought of it first. It ought to be fair is what I'm saying, to both of you. I think I better call my lawyer. If everybody wants to call lawyers, we might as well take Johnny into protective custody right now. No, wait a minute, wait. Ah, uh, can't we find a solution that keeps Johnny home? I'm sorry. 
It's Rona. Hello, Rona? What is it? Mommy? My mommy just died. She just died. I'm really sorry, Mom. Was she sick long? A while, yeah. It must have been tough on her, uh, having to go through all this while her mom was dying. Dad, I want to go to Nana's funeral. What did your mom say? She said she wants me to come, but it was up to you to let me go. Do we have to ask the judge's permission for him to be with his mom? No. Since you have custody, you can make that decision. If that's what everybody wants, we can all go home. Come on. Johnny says he wants to go to the funeral. I'd like that. I don't want to be by myself. Can he uh, come with me, spend the night? Sure. Can I spend the night too? Okay. Come on. Are you okay to drive, ma'am? Yeah, sure, we'll be fine. My dad. God, sweetie. I'll see you. Bye, Johnny. Bye, Dad. Painted before you got here, but it's so neat. Thanks for not being mad at me. Thanks for not being mad at me. I love you, you know. Love you more. Thanks. <laughs> Mom, my room was the best. Mine is better. How about if I, uh, I make us some vanilla milk? Oh, I should make it. You know you're sad about your mom. It's okay. I like having something to do. We'll come with you. Hey, sailor, you come here often? I said come in before. I thought maybe you wanted to be by yourself. Dennis. Dennis. Dennis, talk to me. 
Come on. I don't, I don't know what's going on with me. I'm, uh... I, uh... Yeah, well, we all go through that sometimes. You know, we all spend a little time in the penalty box, you know? You know when you asked me why I hadn't put anything together in business? I didn't have the guts to tell you. Tell me what? In the last couple of years, I've been up for three decent positions. Big firms, upper management, all the perks. I didn't know. Here you go, sir. Yep. Thank you. Lost them all. Two to kids nearly half my age, and one in negotiations over what I was worth. So you, so you pick yourself up and you go back out there. What else can you do? Come on. No, I'm lost. I think I'm afraid to go back out there. You know, when you and Claire started to make it big, the, the Mr. Mom thing got comfortable. And I thought I did it well. Even though every time Claire came through the door, she redid everything her way. This may surprise you. But for the first time in my life, I don't feel needed. Not by Claire, not by the kids. And I don't like it. And it's tearing me up. And all the animals cheered, and after that, Harry never laughed at tortoise again. <laughs> I like it here. I like it here, too. Nobody else's mom lives in a lighthouse. Oh, is that a good thing? Yeah, it's cool. <laughs> wish Nana could have seen it. I wish you had known her better. She would have loved it here. Well, maybe once in a while, Dad can live in the boathouse. Just sometimes. Maybe he could go to the funeral. Me, too. Mom wouldn't want him there. Would you? Is he gonna be mad at me for like the rest of my life? No. No. But I could ask him to the funeral if you want me to. Is that okay? Daddy and I are your family. And we'll still be your family whether we're divorced or not. And when somebody dies in your family, you need who's ever left. A child charging his parent with abuse, trying to get his custody changed? I've never heard of such a thing. Why didn't you call me? We can sue the county on this, I'll bet. Do you think she put him up to it? This could cost your wife a fortune. She didn't put him up to it. I think all three of them are pretty upset with the way I... we handled this. Well, it's okay for her to be upset. Kids have nothing to do with divorce. Now, the first thing we have to do is get a restraining order on that funeral trip. Mr. Raphael, for all you know, she may be planning on taking them out of the country, and you'll never see them again. Do we know for a fact the mother's actually dead? Now, that's a little out of line. Jimmy, come on in here for a sec. Didn't you have a case last year where a kid tried to have his own lawyer? Look, stop it. I've had it with this vindictive, merciless crap. All right? There's been a death in the family. We need to show some respect. Now, I'm going to go pick up Kiki so that Claire and Johnny can get to the airport. I don't want you to do another thing until you hear from me. Is that clear? Hi. Hi. Well, this is uh, quite a place. Different. Mm-hmm. Listen, Kiki wants to come to the funeral. I'm not surprised. They want you to come also. They do? They need both of us. What about you? Won't that make you feel uncomfortable having me there? Probably. But I'm willing to try. You want to come? Of course I do. Look at his face. <laughs> I look so <laughs> eager. <laughs> oh, look at mom. 
She looks so beautiful. She had some meat then. Well, look no, what you got there. You got the pear there, right? Okay. Yeah, put those down. So there. what else? Use is that it? one there. No, 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 I already used yeah. it. I think put, I should like, no, put that piece down. Okay, okay. There's go. There's my giraffe. Okay, you got it too? I'm going to go show Dad. Okay. Let me put that down. What do you got now? Try the aspect. No, no, no. Oh, wow. Know. That's beautiful. <laughs> That's so nice. I love it. I got to frame it. <laughs> Thanks, Daddy. Hey, who's leg? I wonder who that is. So... I'm going to uh, go check into a motel. There's a bedroom over the garage if you want it. Okay, thanks. Okay, you guys, don't forget your homework. I'm going to go sleep in the backyard. Backyard? Just checking and see if you're paying attention. <laughs> okay, so before Ted goes and checks into the backyard, I really wanted to thank you all for being here. It's okay, Mom. We'll see you later. Bye, Dad. Come on, Dennis. I'll, uh, I'll get you set up in the garage. Okay, thanks. Okay, come on, Bye. homework. Hi. I'm sorry about your mom. I'd like to think if I had known it was this close that I would have waited on this whole thing, but I don't. I'm not so sure that I would have. I wasn't thinking about you. I wasn't thinking about you either. Why should you? I let you down. You didn't let me down. Yes, yes I did. You didn't. Yes, I did, Claire. You know that I was never happy selling stocks and bonds, no matter how much I tried to convince myself otherwise? You know that? I got fired for all the right reasons. I was doing a lousy job. It's not that I didn't want another position. I couldn't get one, Claire. So I blamed you for not being sympathetic. I blamed you for catching all the breaks. I blamed you for your success. It wasn't just my success, it was our success, all of us. I couldn't see it that way. You know, I know now that while the business means a lot to me, it pales in comparison in the way I feel for you and the children. I have to start over. Fifteen years. We built so many good things. I don't want to lose you. I don't. I can't breathe when I'm with you, Claire. I can't do anything with you looking over my shoulder. It makes me feel diminished. I have to do this alone. I still want the divorce. resurrection and the life, saith the Lord. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. In sure and certain hope of the resurrection to eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ, we recommend to Almighty God our sister Constance, and we commit her body to the ground, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. The Lord bless her and keep her. The Lord make his face to shine upon her and be gracious unto her. The Lord lift up his countenance upon her and give her peace. Amen.
Amen. Come on, Nick, over here, pass it. Dad, wanna come play? Oh, no, kid, okay. Certainly. Nick. It's weird, Dennis being here. Nick. It's just the beginning of weird. We've got birthdays, Christmas, graduations. I'm sorry, Claire. I really am. And I'm sorry for being so distant all these years. It's just, no matter what I do, I never seem to stand as tall in my shoes as you look in yours. Standing too tall in my shoes just ended my marriage. Wish you could stay here a couple days to let this sink in. I saw mom every day. I was ready for her death. You weren't. Forgive me, Rona, for not being here with you and mom. Mm -hmm. I don't know, maybe. Only if you invite me to come see you get your award. I would love for you to be there. Well, I must say that I'm pleased to see that you're trying to settle this through mediation. But you do realize that anything agreed here must be approved by the court. We're aware of that. Can we start? We both know what would be fair. Well, then perhaps you should begin. Let's start with your business. I'm not going to make any claim on that. It's yours. All right. And I've asked my mother for a loan until I get a job, so I probably won't need anything else from you other than my share of the house. Take the house. That would help a lot. And the kids? Well, I'm, I'm prepared to... No. Shh. That's a responsibility we should share. I'd like that. We're going to try each of us taking you a week at a time, everything even. And on your birthdays, we'll both see you. And you'll see both of us on Thanksgiving and Christmas. Who will take us to the doctor? Whoever has you when the appointment comes. Well, what if one of you gets sick? Will the other come and take care of you? We'll both do what you need, OK? And for the rest of it, we'll just have to figure it out as we go along. You ready, guys? Ready. Yep. ready. Bye. I love you. Bye, Mom. See you. It does? No, it doesn't. He likes hearing me up here. Break, break. That was last month. And I was embarrassed. Who knew? There's Sarah. Can I go here? Yeah. Hi, Sarah. Break, break. Rona. Hi, Rona. Hi, Sarah. Come on, Come on, Blue. Let's go. Yes. Way to go. Break, 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 break. Now, now, Johnny, take it. Hold it right. Every year, the chamber presents an award to the local business person who has most successfully navigated the dangerous waters of commerce and arrived with style and substance on the shores of survival. <laughs> Little hyperbole goes a long way. Uh, this year, that award goes to the woman who has created this world of beautiful furniture in which we now stand. Ladies and gentlemen, here she is, Claire Raphael, Woman of the Year. Thank you. 
Thank you. Uh, the credit goes to my friends and family. They know who they are. And I couldn't have created this if it wasn't for each and every one of you. Thank you. This has also been an extraordinary team effort. And we've made record sales here in Boston this year. And with our new branch in Seattle doing so well, I must say that I am looking forward to the brightest of futures. So thank you all for coming. I appreciate it. Stay tuned. Next on True Movies 1. Roots, The Next Generations, Part 6. See you there. All right, good luck. Hey, wait a minute. I have something I want to tell you. Um, Brody called while the game was on. Yeah, hey, I noticed that. Can't you keep that thing on for a half hour? Oh, sorry, I thought I did, but uh, the Better Business Bureau named me Woman of the Year. Really? Yeah. Well, that's good. That's great. You, you, you deserve that. You worked really hard. Thanks. You get this Forget it. Kids never get what they want. Excuse me? You get everything that you want. I didn't get the red bike I really wanted for Christmas. I got the blue one. Oh, write a letter to Santa. <laughs> <laughs> it's 9.30. Young man, you're going to bed. Good night. Come on. Good night, Mom. Top down. Love you. Good night, Dad. Good night, sweetie. Yeah. Okay. Good night, baby. That was a good game today, buddy. It was. Thanks, Dad. It really was. <clears throat> we need to talk. 
Okay. I just have to call Brody and ask him what time he's going to come pick me up tomorrow morning. Hey, Brody. Okay, I want to know everything that he said. Good night, Johnny. Good night, Dad. No. He said that? You got to be kidding me. Really? How did he know he did that kind of business last year? Wow. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. What else? No. Really? Oh, cool. And tomorrow, is everything okay? So you sure I can't change your mind? Oh, I, I'm really flattered. Oh, come on now. You gotta eat, right? <laughs> Sorry, another early morning pickup. that I'm leaving again. So am I. I don't want to go. But I've got obligations and it's a chance for me to see my mom. Come on, we've been through this in therapy. I take a business trip, you get upset, we f I promised the kids that uh, when I got back we'd go. Can we? I meant to ask you about getting tickets last night, but we got way off track. So, could you? We gotta go. Come on. Bye, honey. Say hi to your mom for me. I will. Love you. Love you. Bye, hon. Love you. Bye, guys. Bye, bye. Bye. I love the location. I really think it's great. Ah. Tom, I don't know, but do you think we should lose this plant stand? No, it's good. I love those flowers. Great lighting, Bella. Thank you, you remember. You guys did such an amazing job. Thank you, thank you. I love it. Claire, do you remember me? Bernice Matheson. I was your mother's bridge <laughs> partner, of course. Well, you know my sister, Rona. Yes, of course. Hello, dear. Hello, Mrs. Matheson. It's so nice for your mother that one of you stayed home with her. Good to see you. Oh, did she come here just to make me feel bad? Oh, this is not... I mean, she could have at least mentioned the store. Mm -hmm. Careers don't impress women of that generation. Mm -hmm. Loyalty does. What's that supposed to mean, Rona? Well, you know, mothers stayed home to take care of their children, and their own children stayed home to take care of their mothers. Hello, hello, everyone. Folks, uh, I'd like to introduce you now to the president, the founder, and the creative head of Claire Raphael Designs. She's my partner. She's my friend. She also signs the checks. Okay. Claire Raphael. How are you, Claire? Shut up. Come on, come on. Oh, I'm very happy to be here. I must admit, a little nervous. Openings are like that. But it does give me great pleasure to welcome you to our new store, which just happens to be here in Seattle. My mom and Sister Rona's adopted hometown. And also to introduce to you what we feel is a line of innovative furniture that will add grace, comfort, and style to your home for years to come. Gave away your lunch again today? What'd I do wrong? Too much mayo. The bread's soggy. Yuck. I traded for Adam's cold pizza. Yuck. <laughs> oh, really? The both of you. Cold pizza's the best. Stop it. It is. Warm pizza's way better, Johnny. No, cold pizza's better. Are we having company tonight? Yeah. There they are. Howdy, neighbors. Hey, <laughs> Alice. Hey, Alice. Hey. Oh, don't ask. Oh. Oh. Hey, Steve, how are you? How you doing, Dad? Let's see. Oh. How you doing? So, is your mother getting any better? Well, Rona says she's holding her own. If we were closer, I'd be able to read her better, but 
You know my sister, Rona. Oh, mother and martyr of the year. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter because I get to go to Seattle tomorrow to open up the new store, so I'll get to see her for myself. Well, that's good. Yeah. <sighs> Cancer's hell. What we went through with my mother. Listen, if you ever need anyone to talk to, Thanks, Alice. You're the best. Oh. Let's go, guys. Hey, Alice. Bye, Claire. Bye, Claire. Thanks. See you. you call me. Okay. Bye, Dennis. Bye. You gotta love Alice. She really speaks her mind. What's wrong? I thought we said we weren't gonna have people over on school nights anymore. Well, they're redoing their kitchen. Bye! They didn't have a place to eat. All the restaurants are closed. You know, we make these agreements, and then you just do whatever you want. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Good night. Mm. Good night, stars. Good night, lightning bugs and jars. <clears throat> I'm sorry I have to go back to Seattle tomorrow. But I'll be back on Thursday. And maybe we could go to the circus on Saturday. Yay, the circus! <laughs> I'll ask Dad to try to get tickets. Can I go with you to Seattle? I haven't seen Nana for almost a whole year. I know, honey, but I don't think so. I mean, you have school and practice. Right, it's a pattern. We're supposed to be working on breaking that pattern. How can we work on it when you keep missing the sessions? And I've told you how sorry I am. Yeah, that's true, you have. Look, we're not going to be able to solve anything tonight. And it's late. Uh, and I really need to get some sleep, so... Uh, can we talk about it when I get back? Sure, fine. Good night. Just for the shot of your genius, you know. Hey, Rudy. Dennis Raphael on Willow. <laughs> yeah, got another leak under the sink. Hey, big sis, our plane arrives at 12.15, so Brody and I will just meet you at the store, okay? Bye. Love you. Kiss mom. I don't know. It could be either the uh, water purifier, the, the disposal, or the sink. You take your pick. Apple, orange, banana? Apple. No brown spots. I want an orange, mommy. Cut up, please. Peel it yourself. No, 3 o'clock's no good. I gotta pick up my kids at school. I can wait till tomorrow if you want. That's great. I'll see you then. Bye. Okay, so you have your lunch? I got you it. You have your homework? Yeah. Kiki, don't forget these cupcakes, okay? Mm. We made them for the bake sale. Oh, my God, I gotta go. Brody will be here. Griddle's too hot. No, it's not. Good morning. Hi, Brody. Hey. Kiki, Kiki. You get bigger and bigger. What are you now? You're like 27, you're 50. What is that? No, silly. I'm still nine. Nine years old. Can you come to one of my games, Brody? Sure. You just let me know, and I will be there. Hi, Dennis. Yo. You see the salts last night? Yeah, finally in the zone for a change. Your griddle's too hot. My griddle is not too hot. Mm. Here, make yourself useful, man. Here you go, kids. Here, our pancakes are going like hotcakes. Who wants them? Here. Good morning. Oh, if it isn't the woman of the year. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. oh let me yeah. get you bags, ma'am. Hey, kids. Love you. Mm. Love you. Oh, no. I'll call you tonight, OK? Can Brody go with us to the circus? Uh, sure, if, if he wants to. Brody wants to. Maybe I'll bring Stephanie if the lovely ex-Mrs. Brody will let me have her on an off yeah, weekend. Great. What's this about a circus? 